Hello everyone, it's Miss Taylor from the Oaklawn Branch Library. So, um, this video is the work I did on my Princess Leia cosplay for this week. Um, so I will show you how I took a gray poncho that I had bought online and used fabric spray paint to make it a camo colored poncho like the one that she wears in the movie. And I also will show you how I use some bias tape to add a pinstripe detail down the side of the pants. Um, but before I get into the work that I did on the cosplay this week, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the concept of accuracy in cosplay and how you have to weigh that. Um, against other factors when putting a cosplay together. So, um, this cosplay I would say is like probably going to be mid to low on, in terms of accuracy um, I, because one, I don't have a lot of sewing skills so I tend not to make my cosplays completely from scratch and make the clothing pieces custom made and two you tend to have to take a sacrifice on accuracy when you want things to be budget friendly especially if you want things to be super budget friendly and you're buying clothes second hand because usually the choices you have when you're buying clothes second hand are are what they are so I just wanted to say that kind of early in this cosplay construction process for people who are thinking, oh, well, that doesn't, that's probably not going to look exactly like um, Leia's Endor costume looks like, or the, like this cosplay doesn't seem like it's an exact replica of that costume and that's because it isn't and that wasn't really what I was trying to go for because I was weighing first the convenience of be able, being able to buy pre-made clothes that I modified and the convenience of saving money by not having to throw a ton of money into material to make clothes from scratch. Okay so I started out by working on the poncho which I laid out and then put cardboard in between the inside of the poncho so that the paint wouldn't um, stain the other side and then I used the Tulip Color Shot Instant Fabric Color which is basically a spray fabric paint um, so it works a lot better than spray paint. So I started by doing one side with the dark green and just kind of random circular oval patterns. I just wanted it to look as close to camo as I could so really just random arrangement of the pattern is fine. And then I went in with my lighter neon green color and basically just filled in the spaces where there wasn't dark green with light green. And then I went and repeated that on the other side of the poncho and the hood. And next I worked on the pants. Um, so this is the pair of pants that I just bought online on Forever 21. And then I bought some single fold bias tape in a light pink color. Um, it was unclear from the reference pictures if the pinstripe down the pants was pink or yellow. I saw people do both, but I opted to do pink because I thought it looked better. So I folded it so that I had the side seam of the pants flat on my work surface. And then I'm going to start out by just pinning it to the top so that the bias tape so that I can measure how long each piece of bias tape needs to be. So I will put one straight pin on the top to hold down that piece of bias tape while I measure. And then I'm making sure it's lined up with the side seam but I'm not going crazy to make sure that it's straight right now because I'm really just measuring out the piece of bias tape. 
and then it's a little bit off camera but I just put a pin in the bottom so that it would stay while I was trimming the bias tape. And then I just cut off the excess and I'll use the rest to do the same on the other side. And now I'm going to go in with more of my straight pins and pin it down along this side seam of the pants so that it stays in place when I hand sew it. So you want to just make sure it's straight and lined up with the side seam. I kind of decided to use a bias tape to just cover that side seam and that's how I was going to measure it and make sure it was straight and just every couple inches put a straight pin to hold it down And then once you're done pinning it down, you just want to hand sew, or if you have a sewing machine, you can use a sewing machine to sew around all of the edges of the bias tape to hold it onto the pants. Um, I don't show that in this video, um, but I will include a link to a hand sewing tutorial for anyone who doesn't have a sewing machine um, in the description of this video. Thank you for watching everyone.